Welcome back to Retirement News Online. So the terms retirement planning and financial planning are often used interchangeably as people talk about long-term financial goals. The actual truth is that while related, the two are very different and understanding the difference between the two is crucial to developing a sound and secure financial future. And my guest uh, to talk about this topic is Don Spini with DNA Wealth Partners. And Don, so let's start out at the beginning. What's the difference between the two? The, the season that you're in uh, determines if it's financial planning or retirement planning. So we look at financial planning as the accumulation period. You know, that goes on for decades. You're building wealth. Retirement planning, as you get close to retirement, is the preservation and distribution of that wealth. And what people don't know is those things can be congruent. They can run side by side. One does not mutually exclude the other. So a, a smart person would probably have both those things in place at any given time in their life. So, Don, would it be safe to say that you can't really do one without the other? Well, people try. So, uh, you know, we uh, advise, if you will, that they have a financial plan and a retirement plan. Again, because they're not mutually exclusive. In fact, the smart ones work well together. Finally, how do you know if you have the right advisor? That's a great question, Scott. The right advisor is someone that works with you, with your goals, and is also willing to cooperate with what we call your board of directors. That's your family. That's the other professionals working on your retirement and financial plans. And also someone that just doesn't do what you tell them to do. You know, it's important that, that they are uh, giving you the right guidance. So you can tell them what you expect to happen, what you want to happen with your financial situation, and their job is to take that information and apply their skill set to make it happen for you. Thanks, Don, and thank you for watching Retirement News Online.